wasn't expecting anything. <laughs> so key, so key, long time. <laughs> Okay, now I don't wish death on anybody, but in this case, we'll make an exception. Now, my friend on Twitter, Real Maga Steve, posted a short clip of a dumbass fucking Clinton supporter. And worshipper of the Rothschild dynasty in the name of the Holy Penis. Taking the Key Key Challenge. That's K-I times two. K-I, K-I. Not that it means anything, but fuck it. See, this is why I don't feel sorry for people who vote Democrat. Because they do retarded shit like this. And most of the time it ends up getting them in the ER or killed one. Probably suicide by stupidity. And yeah, that is such a thing. Do not ask me why. I'm not going to explain to you why. Because you already know, now don't you? You fuck! Okay. Now, here's what he says. Accepting the Kiki challenge can be dangerous. Watch and beware of the danger! I further retweeted this by saying... Accepting the Kiki challenge can be dangerous. It's also retarded. If you even think about trying this, you'll end up getting carbuncled just like in that video that you're about to hear. You're not going to see it. You're going to hear it. Okay? So in other words, don't. Just don't. Let's watch the video. Let's watch the fucking video. Watch it for ourselves, huh? Yeah, because reasons. We all want to win in here. Now, I'm not going to ask you why you shouldn't try this because it should all be explanatory in of itself. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh god, I'm done. I'm just... Oh. And now you know why democracy must die. So, now that you know, you don't need to know anything else. Because it's common sense. Do not try any challenge posted on YouTube. You're going to fucking die. And it will be justified as fuck. So, for the love of humanity, for the love of all that's right, for the love of yourself, for the love of your family, and of the woman who gave birth to you, and the father who put a sperm in your mother, don't. Don't. Don't do it! You're sick. All right, so as you were aware... The Walt Disney Company is currently hiring full-time animators, and we think that you might be one of them. Now, it says here on the profile that you took theater as a high school student and graphic design as a community college student at this particular college, in this state, in that county, in that particular city. Is that true? Actually, yes, it is. It's all true? Absolutely. Now, considering that the Walt Disney Company it is located in a state where conservatives are not allowed to have basic freedoms, 
Would you be comfortable in this state, even though it's going to sink and be submerged underwater in the next 10 to 20 years? Would you be comfortable with that? Actually, yes, I would. If you're going to sink, at least sink with a ship, right? I mean, come on. Seriously, though. But yeah, I do, I do legitimately feel like I'm most qualified for this job. And I genuinely believe that because it's been in my blood for all my life. Now you seem to have dropped something after showing up here just moments before this interview began. Um, would you like to show that to us? I don't know. Uh, well, I could show it to you, but it would be quite offensive and and something that would trigger anybody, because this, this state, as you told me, is a trigger-happy state. Although it's only metaphorical, not literal. But, uh... Oh, it is literal? Okay. Um, that kind of makes it a little bit more sense. But, but, uh, I did bring something to you with me, and I'd like to show it to you. Um, I know you're not going to like this, but, uh... This is a straw. See? <laughs> so much. I heard Michael tells the songs and stuff. It doesn't matter, but, uh, I don't think that I'm good. Now, if you want, I mean, I can explain, I can explain this to you. I think it's first, I think it's perfectly justifiable to have a short straw of me every now and then, especially when I'm sipping coffee and stuff. But, but if you want, I can get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, what, what was that? Um, I didn't quite get the fuck. Yeah. Huh. Well, I figures. Just for having a straw to an interview? Okay. I guess I'll just show myself out then. Are you fucking Saudi Prince Al-Waweed, Al-Waweed, has invested billions in Twitter and other companies around the world! Insane Saudi Prince and billionaire of Saudi Arabia, Al-Waweed, has invested much of his in the sinking Titanic battleship that is Twitter and the soon to be Rothschild backed city group. Because. He has the money and do it, let him do it, let him sink all these damn companies down the drain, I'll give a fuck. I don't give a fuck! want to believe this. THREE HUNDRED MILLION DOLLARS! Oh, but no, it's a 
us back. God, you fucking kidding me? What a fucking joke. He is now Twitter's second largest donor. Which is only one behind, guess what? I don't need to explain that to you. excited over something that you knew was going to happen because of Obama and the Bushes and the Soroses and the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and the Warbugs and the Cavendishes and the Danishis, you know, the people that secretly assume control of our world but don't actually want to Guess who runs the world? We do! So we have to listen to him first and foremost. If we're going to further advance his speeches, we got to listen to God while we're going to tell us. Because God forbid we don't listen to God, then what happens, huh? You go down like the fucking Titanic! That's what happens. How many moments do you two get? Honestly, you know, in life. Please help me, I'm going to die. <laughs> Look at this fuckhead. Oh, man. Have we got the Blasio a fucking diaper and a bib for this guy? And a pacifier, too? Because he needs one. Bad. Holy fuck. Look at what this... Some nuts fuckhead had to say. He had the audacity to say that Trump would not have won the presidency without Fox News. You're right, Communist de Blasio. If not for Hannity and the rest of the honest ones on Fox, the communist media are just like you. But it is God. God! That is prevail. At my friend Brooks Brown, aka Double B USA 617. She posted that an hour ago. On this day, Monday. Got it. This is when all this shit has come out. All this shit has come out. Hey, uh, uh, teacher. Yes, my fellow student. What do you have to say about that? Is Bill de Blasio retarded? That's not a word we use in our classroom, buddy. Well, we can use it for this guy. On second thought, we'll make an exception. 
You get an A, sir. Enjoy your A. A is in what? Not asshole. Well, that's great. Cause I thought you were gonna shove one up a mine. No, I, I'm not. I know. I don't do that. Teach me. I teach the fucking truth. That's great, man. Cause you're my teacher for life. Bill de Blasio, I have just four words for you. What's up to everybody? Hey! How the fuck does this guy still have any kind of job? Much less the one that he's sucking so much dick at right now. I mean, come on, man. You fucking kidding me at this point? Should I even care less or more about it than anybody else? No! Because he blames everyone else but himself for all the problems that he and the socialist Nazi screwjob Democrats cause. <laughs> This guy is a fucking moron. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, it's Flo again. Hi, Flo. WHY DO YOU SHOW UP IN EVERY GODDAMN VIDEO?! And I got no disrespect to you, Flo, but... You're overrated as fuck, and so is your company. Alright. I don't know what to say about that. But I figured it out and pulled it out my buttonhole. So there you go. Should we call Bill de Blasio Bill the Baby Zo? Or Bill the Daddy O because he's fathered like I don't know how many babies daddies? He's fathered how many babies and in, in it's such a, he should be on the Mari show. He has so many fucking secret love childs. I mean, God. For all we know, he may have fathered several secret love children from Michelle Obama's tits. Nah, because baby don't come out of tits. They came out of uranuses. But, uh... Yeah, I just mentioned the planet. It's not just a phrase, Uranus. It's also a planet. It's also an insult people use against socialist Democrats. Bill de Blasio, you in this hell. Go suck your daddy's dick. He said, your daddy's Satan, buddy, so you're getting raped in hell for life once you get there. And believe me, Bill de Blasio, you're going there. See ya! Do I give a fuck? No. Do I care enough to give a fuck? Yes. Do I choose not to give a fuck? Yes. Because Bill de Blasio needs to have his fucking head checked because he is a fucking libtard. You're welcome. White Sox ticket, $55. Beer, $8. Hot dog, $6. Watching a Muslim communist terrorist from Kenya throw a 28 mile an hour goddamn fastball like an eight-year-old little girl? My goodness. Okay. And this turd out of a toilet bowl was our president for eight years. Oh my god. I can't, man. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Let's see how many fucking jokes we can come up with about this living, breathing abortion that should have never obviously step foot in the White House, much less became a politician in the first damn place. Alright? Now, now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. 
we're going to do this together, okay? We're going to find out how many jokes we can pull off about this guy in 60 seconds. I'll watch the time. Okay, you ready? And let's get this shit fast started. Let's do the lightning round, huh? Lightning round! White socks more like black sandals and no shoes. Hey, that's my daddy! I bet he has like a thousand of those, too. Is that the guy who's married to a guy named Big Mike who changed genders and renamed himself Michelle? Yeah. Say, who's that dumbass who ran for Congress and won? And over here, we have a nigger from Kenya who should have never came to the States and he can get so legally. Anybody got a light? I can't see this guy's skin color. Why are you gonna throw a like that? Sticking the eight year old girl, the eight year old girl will make a better present than he would because he sucks donkey dick, obviously. Because reasons. I think you know why. And that's your minute! Ah! I really don't give a fuck as to what you people think about President Obama. The only thing that should matter is that he was the worst president this country has ever had! Even worse than Herbert Hoover! Even worse than FDR! Even worse than Andrew Jackson! This guy takes the cake, man. You could put him on a worst presidents of the world list, he'd be number one every time. You could put him on the worst presidents in history list, he'd be number one every single time. You could put him on the list on the most dangerous Democrats who ever lived. He'd be number one every single time. I'm telling you people, I'm, I'm legitimate when I say this. He is a piece of shit. A living, breathing piece of shit. The turds that I shit out of my ass would have made a better president than him. And no, I'm not playing the race card. I'm being fucking honest. Because he is the biggest sack of monkey shit that has ever disgraced the presidency of the United Goddamn States of America. And with that, I mean, should I, should I really say anything about this? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just put one more joke in there for good measure. His mama should have aborted him, and his daddy should have never put his sperm in his mom. Is that too below the belt for you? Then fuck you. The Chicago White Sox. HOME OF CHALLENGE PISSING! Yes, that's right, CHALLENGE PISSING! Because if you can piss 25,000 feet in the air, and not have a face full of urine at the end of it, you get a White Sox season pass every season for the rest of your fucking life. Because that is how sure I am that you will never, ever succeed at that challenge. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little carried away here. I'm going to close this out by saying the following. This guy is what happens when you don't abort your child right after you fucking conceive. And with that, okay, I'm I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do this. I know you people are going to get offended by saying this, but you're stupider than he is, and you elected this piece of crap to the presidency. So what does that make you? 
Obviously, that makes you as dumb as him. And dare I say it, even dumber. So let me ask you again. How many... Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, you're not going to leave this. Okay, watch this shit. Okay, watch this. All right. All right. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to do a Google search right now. Okay. Let's see. How many people voted for Barack Obama in 2008? Alright, apparently it's not going to tell me, so I'm going to have to Wikipedia it. Let's see. 70 million people voted for Barack Obama. Well, most specifically, 69 and a half million. To the 69 and a half million people who voted Barack Obama into the presidency in 2008, you are the reason why we still have abortion clinics. Because you 69 and a half million people are the dumbest fucking human beings to ever disgrace the planet Earth. You don't even deserve to be called Americans anymore at this point. You revoke that when you vote in Obama in. You fucks.